we bring you Tim Wood, the plan advisor. And uh, Tim is just great with information, and uh, he is the plan advisor, Medicare, life, and safe money retirement made easy. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Tim, and everyone out there. Hope everyone's doing well. And Carl is on the other line listening in. Hey there, Tim. Hey, Carl. All right, so the gang is all here, and let's uh, get into it. And, Tim, uh, one thing that we've talked a little bit about, but not a whole lot, and I wanted to kind of get into this a little bit and uh, talk about long-term care. And there's a statistic that 70% of people will need long-term care at some point and how we should prepare. So let's get into that a little bit and uh, tell us, first of all, about long-term care and about the steps to kind of get prepared for it. Okay, that's a great point to get into. Yes, you're right, 70% of everyone will need long-term care at some point in their life. Um, one thing people don't understand is there is no Medicare policy. I don't care whether we're talking about original Medicare, whether we're talking about Medicare Advantage, whether we're talking about a Medicare supplement, there is no Medicare plan at all that covers long-term care. Now, some of the plans cover 100 days in a skilled nursing facility, so that can kind of get you started going down the long-term care road, but that's just 100 days. And when we're talking about long-term care, 100 days could be, you know, that, that could be a blink compared to how long the care could need to go on. Mm -hmm. So that's why these policies are so important. Um, basically, a traditional long-term care policy reimburses the policy holder a daily amount up to a pre-selected limit uh, for services that they need. And it, we're talking about things like bathing, dressing, eating, all that kind of stuff. That's what long-term care is. Um, and essentially when you're selecting the policy, we just look and it depends on your budget and what your needs are, but the cost is based on how old you are when you get the policy. Uh, the maximum amount that the policy will pay per day, the maximum number of days or years that it will pay, um, and then there's several other things, any optional benefits, and there's a couple other things, but those are the, those are the big things. Um, and then there's optional benefits that you can add on. Like, for example, let's say you're only 55 right now and you get a long-term care policy, there's actually an inflation rider that make, essentially will make the benefit increase because, you know, in 2040, what you get, you know, you may think right now $10,000 a month is going to cover me. Well, that's great. Well, that might not cover you in 2040. So that's another thing that we would look at is, you know, okay, what's your age now and when are we projecting that you may need these services? And then we have to get a, something in place that's going to cover you the way you want to be covered because do you want to be at a facility or do you want to have this happen at your house? Mm -hmm. uh, and we've actually, with the plan advisor, we've actually got an app that we can plug in someone's exact area, and it shows right now what the actual cost per month is for long-term care in our area. So if you're in Elizabethan, you know, I could actually plug in Elizabethan, Tennessee, and it would show me, okay, here's your average cost for in a facility. Here's your average cost for in a home. So then we can plan from that. You know, okay, let's estimate the age. We think we might need it, and we need know we need this, and then let's, you know, make it maybe rise because of inflation. And then once all that's put together, then essentially you're covered once the, something happens, uh, you know, that qualifies as a long-term care event. You know, it seems like to me, Tim, that obviously long-term care is something most of us will need, but it seems to me like it kind of sneaks up on people a little bit, and I'm sure you've seen that where they're, they come in, they, maybe they talk to you, and they're just a little bit desperate about it. Yes, and that's one of the big challenges is if you're in, per, yeah, if you are in poor health uh, or you're already receiving long-term care services of any kind, you very well may not qualify for it at all because most of these policies require medical underwriting. Mm -hmm. So this is absolutely something that you need to take care of beforehand. Uh, once it happens, then, I mean, so, sometimes we can get coverage, but typically it's at a very uh, much higher non-standard rate, what it's called in the industry, a non-standard rate. But basically, you know, it would be much higher, whereas if we can get you into something beforehand, before you're sick or before you're confined to a long-term care facility or needing those services, we can get you in, but it still normally requires medical underwriting. Now, there's one other kind of side note that I do want to hit right here. It's not the same as, as traditional long-term care insurance. 
However, life insurance policies and annuities, a lot of them, not all of them, but we can certainly get you into one that does, have what they call long-term care riders. Now, it's not long-term care insurance like what we discussed, but essentially what it can do is it can double your monthly income you're getting from that life insurance policy or from the annuity. It can double that when you're in a long-term care facility or needing those services. So let's say we had an annuity set up and you were getting a $5,000 a month uh, income, and then all of a sudden you couldn't, are you qualified for this long-term benefit, then your 5,000 income would go up to 10,000 for a certain amount of time, like say five years or whatever. Um, so that's another option that we look at with some people, especially those that are already in that position, but say they may have you know, a, a chunk of investment well, we can do that, and then, you know, over a certain amount of time, some, some of these have a, a limitation where you can't start immediately, but, you know, say six months down the road, then that income could double if they were in a long-term care facility. So uh, it just, we have to look at, once again, like, like we've said so many times, Tim, we have to look at each situation individually. There certainly is no one-size-fits-all for retirement or for insurance by any means. So we just look at someone's individual situation, where are you, what's your age, what's your financial situation, and where do you want to be when this might happen, and that's whether it's with this or just traditional life insurance. I mean, people need to think, and a lot of people don't think about life insurance until they're sickly, mm -hmm. and then once again, I mean, a lot of life insurance has to have that underwriting too. So you don't, you can't wait till you're sick to get your insurance. It's, it's either you won't be able to get it or it'll be astronomically expensive. Well, certainly, as you mentioned, it's something you need to plan for. Don't just uh, wait till the last minute because uh, then, as you mentioned, you could be uh, finding yourself maybe without coverage there. But uh, certainly, uh, it sounds like the process as far as, you know, getting it going is not that complicated. Not at all. Uh, just like everything else, we've tried to make it super simple. Uh, we just get together with our client and, like I said, just determine, you know, where are you now? What do we need to plan for? Uh, what are your assets that you have now? And what do we want to do as far as, you know, moving through retirement? And then when life changes happen, how do you want that to, you know, how do you want everything to happen? Do you want to have a long-term care policy in place? Do you want to have, you know, a final expense policy in place? And its only point is, you know, once you transition, to take care of your interment and the services and all that stuff, uh, you know, those are available. And that's nothing more than just a life policy. That's all it is, a very simple life policy. Um, but, yeah, we get together, figure out what it is that you're looking to do, and then we just develop a plan. And sometimes that includes life plans. Sometimes it includes annuities, some, you know, Medicare. I mean, we kind of look at all of it and try to get you, you know, in the absolute best situation that you possibly can be in. Very good. Now, uh, one thing we want to continue to talk about is Medicare's annual election period, and it is coming up very soon here. It is, yes. That actually starts on October the 15th. Uh, starting on October the 1st, we can discuss the plans for next year, but we can't enroll anyone until October the 15th. And then the actual election period is October 15th through December the 7th. And for anyone with a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan, that's the only time of year, well, there's other certain circumstances, but in general, it's the only time of year that you can make changes. And I will say, once again, I can't discuss what companies it is or what it is they're doing at all, but I can tell you that I've seen some of the changes for 21 coming to the Tri-Cities market specifically, and they are very exciting. Uh, some major changes coming to some of the plans. So anyone that's got a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan, I would strongly recommend if you've already got an agent that you trust, get with that agent after the 1st of October and make sure you're in the best thing because there may be another plan from another company that all of a sudden steps up to the plate and gave a terrific plan for this area. Uh, if you don't have anyone, we absolutely, we're, we're certified with all five of the plans, Medicare Advantage plans in the area, so we can make sure you get in the absolute best one and make the transition seamless. All right, Tim Wood, the plan advisor, and a number of different ways to get in touch with you. You've made it so easy, and tell folks how they can, uh, the best ways they can get in touch with you. All right, well, the simplest is someone can call. It's 423-262-7919. That's 262-7919. 
or if you're online, just go to our website, theplanadvisor.com. We've got a ton of information, downloadable information, all kinds of stuff. As far as contacting us, we've got live chat right there on the website. So if you've got a quick question, ask it. We've got a certified agent that can answer it real quick. You can get back to your day. You can set an appointment right from our website. You can email a question right from our website. Uh, all kinds of different ways you can contact and communicate with us right through the website, or you can just call us once again, 423-262-7919 or theplanadvisor.com. Tim Wood, The Plan Advisor, Medicare, Life, and Safe Money Retirement Made Easy. Tim, always great to talk to you, and we'll talk to you next week. Look forward to it.